Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode of My Journey into Islam. We have with us now Brother Bradley White and he's going to share with us his journey into Islam and hopefully inshallah for the viewers at home we hope that it will inspire you. Okay Bradley we just want to know a bit about your background prior to you accepting Islam. You know share with the viewers basically what type of a person you were, what kind of life you led before you embraced Islam. Um, before Islam I didn't really have no direction to my life. I didn't really know I could wake up on mornings and literally think like, where am I going, what am I doing, you know, why are we here? And, and I had that question and it just never seemed to get answered, you know, and I wasn't in like the best of lifestyles, you know, I was like running with the wrong type of crowd, so to speak, you know, and yeah. so it, it wasn't a case of not having money, not having this, not having that, I just, I just felt like there was something missing, you know, yeah. I always like, felt like there was something missing. And Sorry, when, when you mean like you were with the wrong crowds, maybe for some viewers who could familiarise themselves with that, would that mean like you were, like gangs was it or yeah, was it, yeah? yeah most definitely, yeah. Like, I, I, went, I was in like a kind of a gang culture because okay. like you don't really have a brotherhood, you know, yeah. as, as I didn't really have a brotherhood, I came from like a single, I was a single only child. So gangs like hip hop and that rap culture and stuff yeah, like this, this yeah, was what yeah, you yeah, perceived life to be, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. And then that's where you kind of get your brotherhood from like, which is, it isn't really brotherhood once you know what brotherhood is, once you yeah. come to Islam. But at the time, because you know nothing better, it's like, these are my brothers, you know, these are the people that yeah. care about me, you know. And like, um, I was just in that background, I was just full of that, you know. Yeah. You know, just on a side uh, note, because uh, uh, gangs and rap, and that's very prominent in today's communities and stuff. Prominent. But didn't you ever like kind of think, you know, people getting killed or, you know, this kind of violence and stuff? You know what kind of life am I living? Did it ever make you scared, or did you ever contemplate this? Or was you do it contemplate these things, but you don't know nothing better. Yeah. And I didn't. I, I didn't grow up knowing much better. Not that my, my parents they, they kept me away from as much as they can. But if you live in a certain area and you yeah. take to a certain thing, that's that's the way you're gonna go. You yeah. know, like it's not like I, I was I was in a, out in the country where yeah. I, you know my parents could say you know I would have had to run miles to come to this place. I was yeah. there. I come out my front door and it was just people was there left, right, and centre. Whether you know, I wanted to or not, yeah. you, you just get dragged into the culture as a teenage boy, yeah. you know, you get to that age and okay. subhanAllah, you SubhanAllah, know. okay, so tell me, so you're part of this gang culture, tell me how did you break away from the gang culture and embrace Islam, what kind of things that led you to becoming a Muslim? Just learning <coughs> about life in general, learning about certain things, learning about the creation, that we are the creation, you know, and, and there is the, a creator, you, I don't look at anything until I learn things like that, like I couldn't look at a pen, a car, you know, even though they're two very different things, that's exactly what I'm saying. It like nothing is made without intelligence behind him. The creation has a creator, you know, and yeah. then to find out about our human body and how how it works, like the eyes, the everything, so many things, subhanAllah, that like they're so intricate, more intricate than anything that yeah. humans have managed to create, you know, and, and you sit back and you look and you have to reason, you have to contemplate, you have to think like, Wow, well, you know, like like I say, I used to think, Why are we here and to be honest, I didn't just look into Islam, I didn't just like see like the local Asian brother and think, let me follow him into the masjid, you know. I, I did a lot of research, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, was, I was looking at like bits to do with Christianity, bits to do with... But to be honest, when I say I did a lot of research, it was it was to do with Christianity and um, Islam because I didn't yeah. really... I didn't look at Hindu and, and some of the other things, not to like say anything bad or, you know, yeah. I didn't really... Like, okay, have, so what were the striking features about Islam that said, you know, this is the right direction as opposed to Christianity? The belief in one true creator. Yeah, the monotheism, one, yeah, Tawheed. Yeah, Tawheed for our viewers is believing, believing in the oneness of Allah without associating any partners. This is monotheism and this is what uh, it means in Arabic Tawheed. Okay, so, yeah. I just There was just things about Christianity I didn't necessarily understand, like the yeah. Holy Trinity and stuff. And, and you know, like, mm. I was just I was slightly confused on why because this, this in my household, if anything, if there was any type of religion, it was Christianity, you know, and, and like when we'd, sometimes when we'd sit down, it'd be like, thank the Lord Jesus Christ for the food, and, and that was confusing to me yeah. as well, because I just, I, I used to sit there and think, well, why not just thank God, you know, yeah. like, why have like, we changed the name, so, I just did a lot of research, so I watched one or two things, you know, so and it was just like, to find out about Islam, and, because you do have that perception, I ain't mm. going to sit here and say that before I was a Muslim, I had this, this, good perception of Islam. I had a perception that had me like a bit wary of Islam to be fair, like I, I was a bit like like stuff that media coverage and that sometimes it, it's not covered in the right yeah. way, you know, like, of course, yeah. And I had a I had a, a like a bit of a bad perception of Islam and then like I had one or two Muslims around me but and I realised that these people actually like themselves they weren't 
what the perception showed. So it was just literally like, yeah. on top of that, along with just certain other things that was happening in the world, I just decided to look for myself rather than be spoon fed something and just yeah. listen, you know. So, so you did your own research. That's it, I became with my okay. own reasons. Okay, Bradley, so tell us, the day that you wanted to em embrace Islam, your heart oh. must have been pounding, you must have been thinking, okay, I'm going to make this big move, okay? I'm going to uh, take Allah as my Lord and my Creator and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the final Prophet. Tell us about that day, okay? My brother, it was, it was a pretty much, um, it was the day that I seemed to have not much control over because the moment itself, it wasn't like a, a planned day, like this day I'm going to take my shot, I'm going to make my belief, I'm going to become a Muslim this day. I, I didn't, yeah. where I was coming from college in town, I'd, I'd done so much research, so much research and you know, I'd almost got there and I'd, you know, because yeah. you, you think of, you contemplate so many other things, you think of, it's, it's a whole different lifestyle, like, yeah. you know, it's a whole different lifestyle, it takes you from one side to, one type of lifestyle to another and it, yeah. and it really does, you know, it changes you and I think as human beings we can be scared of change, you know, yeah. we can be very scared of change yeah. and I was, I was, I was very scared of the change and like I said, I was close some days, I was close some days, but the actual day itself, I, I was getting on the bus from town, which is literally five minutes from, from the yeah. masjid, five minutes from my home, and it was like, um, I was on the bus for two or three minutes, and then, I, I don't know what came over me, subhanAllah, the will of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's just like, it was just there, it was just, I'm doing it today, and then I was with a, a Muslim brother, and he was just like, you know, all was shocked, he was like, like make sure, and I can't really remember the words he was saying, because yeah. it was like, it was as if, no matter what anybody said, I was going to the masjid, I was going there and I was going to make my belief because th this was my time to do so, you know, there was no more putting it off, there was no more, yeah, I'll do it in six months, I'll do it in ten years, I'll do it in two years, you know, it was that day, that time and like you said, brother, my heart was pounding, you know, but Alhamdulillah, I was there, you know. Alhamdulillah, okay, and so tell us that you had your uh, reversion done in the masjid. In the masjid. Okay, Green Lane Masjid, Green yeah. Green Lane Masjid. Okay, so tell, how did you feel after, once you said, you, you testified, I told you, how did you feel after unexplainable feeling yeah. and yeah. I can sit here and I can try and put words into the feeling but none of them will meet how the, how the actual feeling was. For the benefit of our viewers, what did you say? I mean, what did you testify? In, I testified in that there was, there was nothing worthy of worship except God yeah. and that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is, was the final messenger of God Okay. and that's what I testified. Okay. And a common misconception is that people think that Allah is another God and we have a God which is a European God or a Western God yeah. and Allah is like an yeah. uh, uh, Arabian uh, God. So tell us, I mean, what? That was part of me actually realising that Islam was the truth, you know, um, because, like I say, it's the perception you get from the media and stuff and, and other things, just people in general, that like, that like Allah is something different, you know. But when, with your research and getting the correct sources and finding out from the correct people, you find out that it's like, it's just a different, it's saying God in a different language. Yeah. So it's the same God for everyone, you yeah. know, subhanAllah. So the God who sent uh, Moses, Abraham, Jesus. Who sent all the yeah, prophets, yeah. peace be upon them all, yeah. you know. But you don't realise this as a non-Muslim, yeah. you know. You, you, you tend to just think, oh, what the, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it's, that the word was just said to him, you know. But then mm. once you realise that it actually follows through time, it, it really does make sense. Whereas a lot of other things don't make sense. Yeah. You can go back through the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, the prophet Moses, peace yeah. be upon him, Abraham, peace be upon him all the way back to Adam, peace be upon him, you know, everybody who had their own, you know, like, everybody came with a message, Message, yeah. but the difference with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was he came with the message for all, for mankind, and yeah. that's why he was the last and final Prophet, yeah. peace be upon him, you know, Absolutely. and it's just... Okay. So tell us, as part of this journey, you've become a Muslim, and obviously now you want to acquire knowledge to become a better Muslim, and know what's halal, what's haram, what's forbidden, etc. So, tell us, what, how is the role of Greenland Masjid, how has that played in your... Uh, you know, thirst for getting the, the knowledge, the, uh, authentic knowledge in terms of uh, following Islam. I mean, have you yeah. been to any other masjid as well? Uh, you know, to, and Yeah, I've been to one or two other masjids like um, local masjids and whatnot, but there's a different feeling when I'm in Green Lane Masjid and I'm not just saying that because I'm here, it's because yeah. when I, I've saw a few other people take their shahada, you know, and, and it's like um, you feel like you've took it now go find your own information out but I really didn't feel like that at Green Lane Masjid. Okay. I got a set of, I got a back pack of books straight away. Mm. Like this is like how to do your prayer, this is how to do what do you know. And I was it was taken given to me in steps rather than yeah. you know, this is haram, this is haram and you have to yeah. do all of this now. The brothers explained to me, don't yeah. try and take yeah. too much on at once, you know. Yeah. I had brothers that just straight away I felt like if I had a problem I could just speak to and mm. and because you're gonna get problems Aki, you yeah. know, it's not gonna you're not gonna come to the religion and just 
you all your problems stop, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Course. Because we're yeah. not perfect, we're not yeah. nobody's perfect and the religion promotes yeah. this. None of us will be perfect, but we have to strive. Yeah. We have to ask for forgiveness, you know, from the creator and the creator only yeah. so and like I had a I, I just there was do a sense of brotherhood actually, yeah, you know. Mashallah. And even in these lessons now do you feel a bit more of a, a distinction between cultural Islam <coughs> and authentic Islam? Yes. Are you more grounded now knowing what look what we see people oh. doing outside, probably going to uh, places and seeking you know, blessings from, you know, uh, graves, etc., yeah. that this is not Islam, you know, what authentic, I mean, how has that, uh, you know, equipped you with proper knowledge? As, uh, Realizing what truth, uh, aqidah, tawheed is and stuff like When that. I first came, I, hear, yeah. I, I just <coughs> thought, if you were Muslim, you, 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 was, you was like the same, you know, yeah. like you did, I didn't understand that, but over time, the brothers helped me to understand and keep me away from the stuff which, you know, like I said, tawheed, we have to understand the oneness of Allah, we ask, we can't attribute any anything else yeah. to the Creator, what is the attribute of the Creator? We can't ask for things. We should only ask the Creator, you yeah, know what I'm exactly. saying? So it's like, um, when you get brothers doing distorted things and whatnot, that can make you, your perception of Islam be, you know, a yeah, bit... Hang on a minute, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, hang on a minute, what's going yeah. on here? There's not much difference between Christianity yeah, and Islam. Yeah, yeah most so, definitely. Yeah. There's, there's, okay. some, there's some parts of some people out there yeah. that, that like have changed things. Alhamdulillah. So obviously you've benefited coming to Greenland Masjid here and, and, and you know yeah. okay so uh, before we conclude any message that you want to send out to the viewers at home with regards to you know if they're contemplating uh, about accepting Islam or any question that they have about Islam anything that you want to pass over to have a people? very have an open mind mm. don't listen to what you've been told don't just take everything like just uh, the media because one one thing that I one quote that I liked was Alice Bonatari did not send the Quran, his revelation down to BBC or Sky News. So yeah. if you want, if you want to have the, yeah. if you want to learn about the religion, go to the correct sources, yeah. which is the Quran and the Hadith. So I would advise anybody to do so. I wouldn't advise anybody to just listen to the media and just think, well, mm. oh, well, the media said this, so I have to take that as the what's it called, or this person said this, or this person yeah. said, said that, because you don't go to when you want to know about something, you go to an educated person on yeah. the subject. You don't go to somebody that's yeah. not educated on the yeah. subject. You know, so have an open mind. And do not be scared, you know, because it's not, it's not something that, I know as, as humans, like I said, we're afraid of change, but it's not something that changes your life in a bad way. Yeah. It changes your life for the better, inshallah, you know. Yeah. And it will do so for many other people. Zakallah, Zakallah, uh, brother Bradley. And for the viewers at home, uh, you are more than welcome to visit us at Green Lane Masjid. If you have any questions, our reception is open from 9:30 till 6 o'clock. Drop in, and if you want to find out a bit more about Islam, we hold our regular talks here for the Revert Brothers on Fridays, uh, beginning at 7:30. So you're more than happy to come in, observe what's going on, and, and inshallah, if you want to make that big step and become a Muslim, we're more than happy to help you in that journey. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.